بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحدثكم عدنان الهاشم أكون معكم في هذه المحاضرة ليست بطويلة إن شاء الله قد تكون 28 إلى 29 شريحة نستعرض فيها كيف يمكن التعامل مع الأدوات الجراحية وهي بعنوان Inspection and Assembling of reusable medical uh, devices and backing them. Bismillah uh, Hinata. Nabda al an ma'ana sul muhadara al objectives. We have kawana min al basic surgical instrument, the lot al jirahiya, al asasiya, al mustahdama fi al amaliyat. And uh, the preparation and backing required for it, and loading of reusable medical devices, and the inspection of it, and also uh, assembly and backing uh, different types of medical devices. Okay, we have here the basic surgical instrument. Uh, the common categories of surgical instrument are. Scissors, needles, holders, tissue and dressing forceps, knife handles and hemostatic forceps, and the retractors, also the suction devices, rangers, specula, osteo, uh, osteotome, and chisels. All of these medical devices or surgical instrument, they called it, uh, can be used in different type of operations. All of these categories have different sizes and uses of each type and size of the instrument. We have to mention that the medical instruments or the surgical instrument, there is SUD devices or single use devices that we have to use it one time and throw it away. Okay. First category, we have the scissors. It uh, divided in main three times. The Mayo, primarily for cutting fascia, the connective tissue, uh, that the beneath the skin directly. The second one, the Mitsum bomb, cutting the delicate tissue and plant dissection. Uh, Tinotomy Stevens scissor for delicate uh, surgery, such as neurosurgical and plastic surgery procedure and can be used, all of these scissors can be used in different type of operations. And we have to know and check every piece of the scissors, the blade or uh, the blade, ta uh, the blade uh, area, inspect it, if there is a bitting or something uh, unusual, if there is a crack in the box of the uh, of the screw check it also the ring is it breaked sometime it's fall down and break there is a crack in it in the ring also check for cleanliness and the most important also check for cutting is it cutting or not of course there is a, a a slide will be talk about the how to inspect the scissors is it cutting or not also we have to talk about the, the scissors with golden color on it in the ring area uh, it's mean it have a tungsten carbide blade that it's super cutting some of the doctors need a uh, very strong uh, scissors to cut some tissue tough tissue they are using these types okay this is about the scissors second category we have the needle holder designed to push the sutures needles through the tissue to close the surgical sign uh, 
There is many sizes and many types and types of the needle holder, and we have to know the needle holder. Uh, there is a colors also of the ring. If it's, of course, if it's there is a golden color in the rings, that directly we will know that it have a tungsten carbide built in that needle holder. It's shown here in the picture. Uh, we have to check it if it's okay or not. The grasping of it, okay. As we see here, many worn out jaws here in the picture, and also a new one here. So we have to check also any bio burden in the instrument, maybe uh, gathered here in the box lock, uh, check the shank, check the uh, ratchet and test it, is it locked or not, uh, locking or not, uh, check the neck here, if there is anything, uh, rituals from uh, bio versions. As we see here, there is uh, small types of needle holders, uh, some of it without tungsten carbide, some of it there is tungsten carbide. So the golden color, it means there is tungsten carbide blade built in this uh, needle holder. The third category we have here are the forceps tissue and dressing. Tissue forceps are tweezers style forceps designed to manipulate tissue as we see here eight types of uh, tissue forceps that uh, some of them are golden color uh, tip that we know what the meaning of that that have uh, tungsten carbide blade in it so it's hold uh, strongly uh, some of them are for uh, grasping tissue, some of them grasping soft uh, uh, tissue like intestine, it will not harm it. Some of them uh, uh, used atraumatically grasping for sips like the DPK one. This most uh, maybe all of the people worked in OR uh, in operation room know the DPK and uh, we have to check the tip of the instrument especially this one uh, for clean lens in the tip of the jaws and inside in between uh, the, the tweezer itself and we have to check if there is a crack or damage and for uh, assembling it we call the we uh, we calling especially in the in the set of the surgical sets we call that one as a nesting nesting of forceps we have we have here a picture of it in the bottom uh, so this type of instrument are commonly seen in all the operation and also in all the procedures it's very common to be seen okay the fourth category of medical instrument devices are the knife handles knife handles or what they called it scalpel is a tool with extremely sharp cutting edge or a blade scalpel may be a reusable but normally the blade are single use it will be discarded in the uh, medical waste medical waste uh, sharp box and we have to know the proper way for removing it it's uh, maybe be mistakenly it will be sent from OR with a blade with a blade on it we have to remove it by using a needle holder as we see here 
uh, we have many types of uh, scalpels and there is a single use scalpels made from plastic and some of them are reusable some of them are coming with uh, the plate fixed on it uh, like the one used in mortuary and we see a lot of type of uh, blades here all of that blade should be a single use <coughs> the fifth category of uh, medical instrument devices are hemostatic forceps hemostatic forceps main function is to control the flow of blood the jaws feature can be uh, can consist of full serration okay, uh, creel or partial serration like kelly there's two type of them creel or kelly we have to check for cracks in the box lux box okay and uh, the straighten of the jaws is not deformed like we see in the bottom of the picture here also the cracks it's seen here in the box lock also check bio, uh, for any bio burden remains after the cleaning in the jaws and the serration also test the ratchet if it's function okay or not that's what uh, about hemostatic forceps the sixth category of medical uh, reusable medical devices are the retractors the main function of the retractors is to move tissue aside for visualization of the surgical site in another meaning we have to expose the, the wound or the incision to see the inside incision for example to remove the uh, to remove the skin expand the area and retract it aside and cut the fascia under it then we will face the muscle for example also we need the retractors also if we go in deep in the abdomen for example we will need different type of retractor so we have a lot of uh, types of retractors depending on the uh, surgery uh, and the site of the surgery we decide which instrument we can use or type of the uh, uh, retractors okay The seventh category of uh, reusable medical devices are the suction devices. The primary function of the suction devices, uh, devices are to remove uh, the, fl uh, the fluid and blood during the surgery from the site of the surgery. Some suction devices include a metal stylet. We have to use it during the procedure, not for the cleaning in the CSD. It's only for remove the blockage during the procedure. The, the cleaning way is to use special brushes, special size for each type of the section. Okay. Especially uh, uh, the type with multiple pieces like the pool section we have here there is two piece and the anchor section there is uh, the tip we can remove it and the freezer the freezers come two pieces as we say before the stylet and the uh, the section itself so we have to use the proper type of brushes provided by uh, the company now rangers it's the eighth category of uh, reusable medical devices the function of rangers is to cut or a bit away at a bone and tissue and 
it can come in single or double action closure design we have here a picture on the right we have to check all of the screws of course as usual screws any bio burden in between the hinges we have to check the tip it's very important to make a test to cut with uh, a paper on a paper or couple uh, a small strong paper to see the cut uh, edge is it okay or not we see here a laminectomy ranger uh, damaged tip we have to report it to the OR if we have a replacement we have to replace it also on the bottom of the slide we have the uh, laminectomy inside there is a remaining of tissue and blood after sterilization we say we say it can be after sterilization because it's a blackish already we have to check it carefully even if we force to open the uh, instrument and clean it well and return it again that's the slide about the rangers okay In the last three category of reusable medical devices are the uh, specula, cheeses, and SU2. We have here the nasal specula. We have to check the screws and any uh, debris or by burden attached to the tip of it. Also, the vaginal specula, uh, any uh, screws are loosened or debris attached to it we have to check it and uh, the two last things are the cheese and stew tomb we have to know the difference between between both of them the cheeses and stew tomb cheeses are one edge beveled used to chip the bone so there is one side like a like an edge but the stew tomb both edge beveled used to cut and divide the bone also check the chisel and use your tomb for uh, the the edge of it is it sharp is it there is no cracks in it no damage steps in it and it can cut and that's about the three last category of uh, reusable medical devices now we'll talk about inspection assembling packing area it is the clean area of center of CFS department inspection assembly and packing for sterilization are done there it is it is a critical step because it is the last time the instrument will be handled before the sterilization so we'll be illustrate the step by step uh, in the rest of the slides okay in this slide we'll talk the preparation and backing area requirements of it of course there is a lot of things in the preparation area we'll mention some of them equipment and machine of course there is a backing table with a magnifier lamp and there is heat sealer and pouch cutter there is also pass through a window or hatch from the washing area to the uh, preparing area uh, of course there is monitoring of the environment like uh, temperature humidity and the pressure negative or positive of course the backing area is positive pressure uh, in the preparation uh, preparation area or backing area there is a dryer cabinet to dry if there is a humidity or uh, some drops water drops after taking the instrument of the washer you put it inside it and dry it of course there is a steam sterilizer uh, pinch top sterilizer or 
like in big department there is a big sterilizers of course there is low temperature sterilizer like uh, sterilization with uh, hydrogen peroxide or with uh, uh, plasma and hydrogen peroxide together the quality assurance we have there uh, we have chemical indicator biological indicator and the boiling test uh, there is a lot of consumables rubber back pouches instrument tip protected tray liner and a lot of uh, sizes of the uh, pouches rolls and pouches also we have uh, lubricating uh, sprays for lubricating the instrument we'll illustrate that one in the coming uh, slides unloading the washer disinfector or unloading the reusable medical devices from the washer disinfector uh, we have to check the cycle if it's the correct cycle or not keep the item on the rack before you dragging it them out from the washer disinfector to prevent any any uh, injury a burn injury to the technician uh, of course we have to uh, save the print out in a logbook for one year as MOH recommended that uh, some th some things if you saw in the uh, w washer disinfector we have to reject the load visible soiled on the instrument have to be rejected failure in the protein test you dragged out the, the rack after it being cold and you checked first you have to check the uh, protein test if it's okay okay or not if it's best or not if it's not okay we have to reject any blockage in the spray arm the spray arm in the rack maybe it's stuck maybe it's blocked blocked with uh, some remaining of uh, anything uh, blood clothes bone fragments or uh, sometime uh, sutures small pieces of sutures we have to reject it also incorrect cycle maybe there is an error before the end of uh, the cycles will give you an error we have to repeat it again and reject the load cycle cancel for any mechanical issue maybe there is a failure of water there is failure of electricity maybe uh, something wrong with the, the system of the washer disinfector for that we have for these five things we have to reject all the load and reprocess it again from the beginning it means to re uh, start the washer disinfector for it that okay Of course, after receiving the reusable medical device, whether it's manually cleaned or unloaded from the washer ma machine or disinfector, both ways we have to dry it to prevent microbial growth and re uh, reduce spotting. And we have to follow the manufacturer instruction for each medical devices. Okay or what they called it IFU for uh, for the reusable medical devices drying cabinet should be used and list not recommended by the um, instrument uh, IFU so air dried using compressed instrument grade air or the medical air you have in your department or hand dried using a lint free cloth a lint free cloth there is 
it will not keep any debris or uh, uh, textile on the instrument so we have to use the correct lint free cloth that's it instrument inspection for a cleanless each seat should be inspected separately with its list of course there is a list with each set illuminated magnifier or lighted magnifying lamp should be available at the work station or the working table to assist with detailed inspection box joint serration and crevices should be critically inspected for cleanliness also the cannulated devices should be checked to ensure that the channels are free of any soil or remaining of any uh, bio burden inside it of course we have to put a check reject policy in the department and follow it uh, of course it will be uh, approved from infection control department that's it. instrument inspection for function uh, the tips and teeth should be checked for alignment the, res the ratchets should be checked for the security and locking if it's keeping locking with movement or not cutting edge on the devices should be checked for sharpness let's say this is a with less than four inch should be checked with the red test material okay and the one more than four inch and a half should be checked with yellow test material of course the red one is a thick and the yellow one is a thin uh, the rangers and cutters should be index card a card special time to check if it's cutting evenly or not the chisel and cutters should be used a plastic dowel rod a special type for testing the chisels and cutters that was the function inspection of the instrument should you moisten lumens of course lumens in the instrument should be flushed with the treated water before packaging and dried and checked for cleanliness a stylet and plug should be removed to facilitate the steam entrance inside the lumens lubrication it's very important to lubricate the hinges on devices such as artery forceps and clamps it should be checked for easy of movement and lubricate the hinges boxes if necessary each device should be checked for ensure free of movement for, for all the parts of it and that the joint do not stuck also crow on joint devices are tight and have not become losing with the time okay assembly of reusable medical devices each device should be checked against the surgical list specific to the tray being assembled any device missing in the phase from a tray should be reported to the supervisor also the extra devices found in found in the assembling tray should be reported to the supervisor for further action and non conformance documented all uh, devices 
are presented in accordance with the surgical tray list and ensure easy of use by the user. All devices are assembled correctly in accordance with the information of use. Okay. The packaging of reusable medical devices is three way and times either by using pill pouch or by rubbing the instrument in blue sheet or putting the instrument uh, mystery inside a rigid container each of them will discuss in the rest of this lecture the next three slides will talk about the packaging times one pill pouch we have to adjust the sealer machine temperature for the type of material being sealed for example if we are using paper plastic pouch that used in the autoclave steam autoclave we have to adjust it on temperature higher than the one used for hydrogen peroxide gas plasma it will take less temperature again we have to be sure that the ceiling is smoothly without faults without bubbles or wrinkles if the item need to be double packaged two sequentially sized pouch should be used okay when pouching leave one inch after sealing and write in plastic side the use of paper plastic pouch with the heavy material instrument could result in ad inadequate drying of the package after sterilization so we are using the proper way for packaging every time Okay. Sterilization wrap. There is four types of wrapping. The first one, sequential wrapping, referred to when two layers of wrap material are wrapped individually using a fold technique. The second one, sim simultaneously wrapping refer to when both layer of wrap material had been wrapped together simultaneously uh, the third one envelope fold technique the item to be wrapped are placed on the table in diamond shape to the wrapper this method is frequently used for smaller items and in the end the fourth technique are square fold technique wrapping this uh, the item to be wrapped are placed on the table parallel to the wrapper this method is generally preferred with heavier items to be sure that uh, we put uh, the name on the top of the package and the tracking numbers so can uh, can know what the uh, package include the third type of packaging system are rigid container system containers vary in size and intended for use in various si uh, sterilization method the container consists of solid bottom inner basket silicon gasket latches load card holder with ingredible id tags and lid and the filter retention plate and its valve should be checked for cleanliness and function with no sign of damage or leak
in some types of rigid container there is a single use filter we have to replace it with a new one and there is a lifetime for the uh, valve and filter should be checked in uh, information of use or instruction uh, of use from the manufacturer okay packaging of reusable medical devices the hinge instrument should be positioned in unlocked to allow penetration of the sterilizer also the multiple part should be disassembled unless otherwise indicated by the instruction of use the devices with concave surface must be flipped upside down to prevent condensation also the heavy item arranged at the bottom of the tray so they will not damage the delicate items the sharp instrument should be capped with tape protected without being so tight okay as shown here in the picture the covering of the sharp instrument and next to it a picture showing a sharp instrument penetrating the wrapping also we see here in the picture the opening the method for opening the instrument using the hinge the large hinge and that was the packaging of the reusable medical devices second part of packaging of reusable medical devices similar devices should be kept together when placing them in the tray tray liners should be placed at the base of the surgical tray devices should be separate evenly by weight over the tray surface every package should have a compat compatible external chemical indicator and compatible internal chemical indicator that's okay loading concentration of the reusable medical devices the light item should be placed above and the heavy metal should be below if mixed loaded item should be loaded within the boundaries of the loading tray do not overload the chamber ensure there is a sufficient room between item to allow the circulation of the sterilant uh, the load control must be attached to any item that will be used as a sterilant product for a recall the name or initial of sterilizer operator must be set it in the package or checklist if recall as we see here in the first picture in the top of the slide we see the arrangement of the package in the second one on the right we see the mixed load and textile only load also the arrangement the third one we see wrong and right procedure of loading we see here overloaded in the above in the bottom or in the lower shelf we, f we see uh, a space between each package and the other no. documentation information recorded from each sterilizer cycle should include the identification of the sterilizer used for example sterilizer one the type of sterilizer and cycle used load or load control number contents of the load exposure time and temperature if not provided by recording chart 
and the name of the operator and the result of biological indicator and chemical indicator monitoring that was the, the decontamination slide 